A land of open plains, immense deserts, and great horsemen. The vast country of Mongolia is not today considered a major biathlon nation. But before important political changes in the country in 1990, the sport had enjoyed increased popularity ever since the 1964 Olympics in Innsbruck. After 1990, uh, biathlon disappeared, all the sports system went down. And between that, 25 years we did not have any biathlon. And since 2015, 2014, we started eventually to rebuild biathlon sport again and trying we are step by step. As proof of their newfound dedication to biathlon, the team sent three drivers to transport their equipment by van at the start of the season, from Mongolia all the way to Norway. A 10,000 kilometer trip that lasted 13 days. These are our two drivers. He is uh, Odbayar from Ertenet city of Mongolia. He is Munk Jargal from Ulaanbaatar city of Mongolia. Uh, third one is uh, from Altambolak Silingamak. Uh, his name is Batvold. He's already flight to home many days ago. This long trip uh, wasn't uh, so big deal for Mongolians because Mongolians are thousands of years nomadic people and also from the history many hundred years ago Mongolian army came to Europe by horses. He says uh, our world is uh, not too large, it's something small and we need to love it. <laughs> <laughs> They are still far from the levels of the great biathlon nations, but their ambitions are growing. The aim of the team is now to bring biathlon back to Mongolia. The biathlon could be uh, one kind of successful sport in Mongolia because uh, we have a long winter uh, and also we have um, many good hunters uh, from the traditionally and also we have a long good history of uh, cross-country skiing and it will be together good biathlon in the future. <laughs>